if you're a fan of the boys, you know that we sell clothing items, merch, if you will. If you will. Josh is wearing merch. I am. I'm wearing the boys merch. This stuff is very high quality. It's a big brand now. So today on the channel, I thought it would be a good idea to buy every knockoff piece of merch I could find. This is literally supporting child labor because you know that these weren't made in respectable factories. As you know, every week I get handed a box and it just has today's video in it. So this is the first piece. What you, it's Chinese. It is Chinese, you are correct. <laughs> these, are, these are Chinese symbols, if you can see that. First of all, this doesn't feel like merch. It feels like a mat of some sort. Yeah, this seems like some kind of gym mat. Who's it for? Oh, hang on, let me just read this. Uh, Chung Kung Wei. Uh, Ding Bing Chilling. Bing Chilling. Bing Chilling. That's what it says. It's John Cena merch. <laughs> <laughs> this feels like something you would have actually bought before you did YouTube. I don't know what this is supposed to be. It's a PewDiePie be. mouse pad. Oh my god. It's a PewDiePie mouse pad. No way. This isn't a mouse Wait, pad. Wait, is it? This is a f bath mat. A PewDiePie bath mat. It is a bath mat. When you buy this merch, they don't say like oh. bath mat with PewDiePie on it. They say like official PewDiePie bath mat yeah. or something. I would actually have this in my bathroom. <laughs> I want people to wipe their feet on this when they come over. It's very, it's very, okay, low key. It's actually very cool. It, it feels, feels good quality. It's decent quality. It's literally just a picture of, uh, of our Lord and Savior. Of our Lord and Savior PewDiePie drinking gamer sups. Uh, I don't know how much this was, but I am going to start putting the listings in videos now. So pop it up right here. Bang. That's how much it was. Damn. But whoever made this just took a photo of PewDiePie, printed it on a bath mat. And uh, that's it. Charged me a shitload of money for it and called it official PewDiePie merch, but it's not. You know what? For counterfeit merch, I'd rate this a solid eight out of ten. It's it's very good quality. Yeah, I like it. I actually want to keep it. Another uh, Chinese package. Seeing a bit of a pattern here, Molly. Yeah, it's a T-shirt from uh, who the f is that? It's just got a picture of a truck and a controller. <laughs> I'm gonna call Jess and ask her who this is for. Truck and controller. God, how disappointed would you be if you got your kid his favorite YouTuber merch and this is what showed up? Wouldn't you be a bit upset? They've printed a truck and a PS5, a oh, PS4 controller. And there's like brown spots all over it. I'm upset and I didn't even order this. Uh, uh hello. Hello. Whose merch is this? That was actually meant to be um, a cold ones. It's a knockoff of one of their designs. What design? <laughs> Playing video games while driving cross country as a lumberjack? This, was, this is a cold ones ripoff? Yeah, hang on, let me see what it, what it was. It was like, uh, if you're a gamer, you're a trucker or something. It was really weird. I was like, oh, okay, I guess I'm getting it then. Can you send me it, please? Official cold yeah, ones I'm merch. Getting, I'm getting it for you now. Okay, thank you. Scott from Cool Shirt, bro. Scotty, let's talk about this, man. You need to start working on your designs a little bit, mate, because this ain't it. Clip art. It looks like a shirt Chad would fit into, though. What's that supposed to mean? It's it's a big shirt. That's all I'm saying. Uh... So this is the official Cool Shirts ad, and this is what we bought. I don't like this shirt. Quality-wise, pretty average, but not that bad. It Material. smells. Does stink. Why like does all clothes paper? from China smell acidic? Like, do they wash these shirts in vinegar before they f***ing send them out? Well, you ever yeah. got really shit merch before and it just smells? I've never bought shit merch because I've only ever bought our merch. Oh. They use the acid to get the MSG out. Let me call Max. Why don't you just leave him alone? Put it on. Get it all out for the camera. Just got my new truck and merch from Cool Shirts. You look like a f***ing reef. What's the f*** is this shit? I don't know. That's what I mean. It looks like someone shaved their beard onto the photocopier. All right, next one. We're chilling. Oh my god. Oh, it's Josh Dub merch. I recognize this fan art. Is it a hoodie? Yeah, I think so. But the print quality feels pretty good. Mm. It's a Josh Dub hoodie. It's Josh Dub, and it's basically a bit of fan art that's been cut out, and uh, now it's on a hoodie. The hoodie itself pretty shit, though. The hoodie is very thin. Yeah. It's very light, but the print quality, the print feels really nice. The art's really good. It's not pixelated. This is actually something I would buy. Oh, shit. Max is calling. Max. Oh, dude, I got my um Cold Ones truck and merch. Oh, hell no. Nah. Look, good. what the f*** is this, bro? Is this a f prank? What what, what the f are you selling, man? <laughs> Sell that. Shut the f up. Dude, I got my truck and merch. Look. Scott really needs. Was Scott you need to tell Scott to pick his shit up, bro. Scott, I got a call for you real quick. I got my truck and merch from Cool Shirts. Look what look what came. What the f is this? What the f is that? Yeah, that's what I'm asking. You're the one who sells the shit I'm asking. I pay good what money. I'm very upset. I know we didn't ship you that, Molly. Yes, you did. This is what I got in the mail Why yesterday. Shut the f up. You're desperate for that call. I know you called me and Chad. <laughs>
something fishy going on. <laughs> All right, thanks for the thanks for the care package, brother. Love you. All right. Well, they actually were a little bit shocked. Yeah, when I said I bought this, this is what KP's like. What the? F <laughs> they looked a little stressed. They looked like they had to do some quality control. They're gonna make some phone calls after That's this. so funny. All right, Josh Stub merch, beautiful. So far, I would say that I have the best knockoff merch. Yeah, it's better than cool shirts. Yeah, get your Chinese counterfeit factories into gear. More Josh Dub merch. I want to know how much this was. I wish Jess was here. Jess is off sick today. Everyone say, Take get guess, well, though. Jess, in the comments. How much do you reckon this was? Probably like 40 bucks, eh? It looks like it was AI upscaled, because it doesn't look that bad for an image that's that big that's been blown up. Jesus into Christ. I actually like this one. I would wear this. All uh, right, put it on then. On, we... on top of that one. Okay. <laughs> It'd be all right if the hoodies weren't shit. This, I think this one feels pretty nice. Holy shit, I'm really warm. Look at that. All right, do the face that's on the hoodie. <laughs> okay. I like this one. Yeah? Yeah, I would actually sell this. The print quality is- Are you serious? The print, the print quality is good. The next thing we have is uh, bootleg the boys merch. You know what the problem with this shit is? People are making money off of our likenesses. I think the problem is child labor, but yeah, that's also bad. The boys! Wow, it's got the uh, the old placeholder logo, um, a bunch of images from five years ago. People just literally took our brush characters, put it on a shirt, and are charging people like 20, 30 bucks. Oh, God, this smells like shit, by the way. <laughs> if you're a parent who don't really understand YouTube, you and your kid Ooh. comes up to you and says, I want boys merch for Christmas, mm. and you type in boys merch into Google, and this is what pops up, oh, you'd be so mad, eh? Yeah, yeah. You're getting scammed if you buy this shit. Yeah. God, you look like a total Oh man, I would not wear this in public. <laughs> you can tell it's Molly because he's wearing the boys mode. Well, let's talk about quality wise. This is the type of shit that if it caught fire, it would just combust straight away. Yeah, it would melt to your skin. Quality wise, not good. The print kind of shit. Mm. Yeah, it's got that weird like old bath skin feel <sighs> to it. The shirt smells like vinegar. It's very light though, but mm. still, I don't, not really a fan to be honest. You look like a homeless fan right now. Mm. What do you want? You want a fat package or a little package? Fat pack, please give me a fat package. Oh, Big fat one for you. Okay. From Zhao Zhao 168. Gwang Dong Sheng, Shan Tu Shi, Chao Nan Ku, Zi Shan Ji. That's what it says. Yep, that is exactly what it says. Yeah. Have you been learning Chinese? No, it says it. Oh, it's a pink hoodie. Ooh. Okay. Oh. Oh, that's. Fuck sake, bro. I know Jess bought this because. She actually wants it. She is his biggest fing fan. Yeah. Wait, it's a it's it's a Markiplier fucking varsity, like varsity jacket, dude. Oh god. So my favorite thing about this is it has Markiplier written in totally different styles and fonts on it multiple times. Uh, yeah. So it's got Markiplier written in that font. It's got Markiplier again written in that font. Then it has the Gmail logo for some reason. And then it's got this Markiplier. This is some shit that a kid makes in fucking paint at six years old when he mm. first learns how to use a computer. Yeah. Who? Makes this shit, looks at it, goes, wow, that's really cool. Yeah, Jeffree Star had a beard, and then he put this on. I feel like I'm gonna take all this shit off and, like, have rashes. I think the pink and white looks pretty cool. The pink and- the color is very cool. Mm. But the shit that's on it, like, the first of all, why is Markiplier written that way on this sleeve, but upside down on this sleeve? Mm. First mistake. Yeah. Second mistake. The, the back print's not that good either. It's just a picture of my- a picture of- and that's an in-depth review on this jacket. The quality is pretty bad. The quality is f dog shit. It honestly looks like the sort of clothes, you know when you buy a doll? Like a baby doll, and it comes with that shitty clothes that you can just take off of it? Yeah. It's like that. It's like just, just enough to be considered clothes. Yeah. I wonder how much it was. Because it looks like the sort of thing that would be expensive. This is the listing Anything right here. Damn. What the hell? That right there. That's ridiculous. Oh, wow. <laughs> Finally, some official <laughs> Mully merch. What? That's the guy right there. Ha! <laughs> that is f***ing horrendous, eh? The red and the green make it, like, Christmassy, which I hate the most. Because it's just like, hey, can I just have a big bucket of cum for Christmas? That's what I see when you wear this sort of thing. All right, chuck it on, Mully. No, you opened it. My gift to you, brother. It's your We're shit. We're wearing what we opened. It's your shit. Yeah, but you opened it. It doesn't make sense for me to wear it. I am not Mully. Oh. Take it all off. What is happening? Am I What's going on? I think it's really- it's, it's a singlet. Oh, shit. I'm seeing how many layers I can wear Okay, today. now you look like you're competing in the Special Olympics baton run. You look like you're ready for sports day. If you see me in public <laughs> wearing this, run away. Oh, it's PewDiePie. 
another beautiful, I think. Okay, this is looking pretty bad. Wow. It's black. Well, yeah. this is also uh, baby sized. PewDiePie print on the sleeves. And it's uh, got like a, a, a silhouette of him. It's a, it's, a, it's a black silhouette of PewDiePie on a black hoodie. You Look, can't even tell what the f is going on. If you were this sized, this would actually probably be a little bit fire piece of merch. That's probably one of the best looking ones, I think. You reckon? I reckon. It's got like a cool little, it's got like the cool logo on it. It's got like a side silhouette. But it's definitely better than the Markiplier merch. I agree. Mm. Put it on. The size is 150. 150? Yeah, this all the tag says on it is 150. Are you gonna fit into this? I don't know if my head's gonna fit into it. Oh <laughs> what's it smell like in there? It smells like China. It smells like soy sauce. Holy shit, this one's gonna be a little rough, dude. Can't help me. Get me down. <laughs> I thought you were working out. I mean, you haven't even got to my belly yet. This <laughs> Holy shit. PewDiePie! I love PewDiePie! Subscribe to PewDiePie! Oh my god. Damn. Nice. Nice. Very good. Okay. It's a, it's a little tight is my only thing. Yeah, I can see that. I'm not even sure what size 150 means. It's probably like for like 150 weeks old or something. <laughs> Three years. You think this is a three-year-old thing? It could be if it was an American three-year-old. I guess. Anyway, I love PewDiePie. You look crazy right now. All right. Okay. Shall we continue? Yes, please. They hold it swallowed by. Oh, there it is. Oh, this one feels kind of dense. Oh, you know we like dense Chinese clothes. Oh, what is this? This looks this looks cool. promising. Mm. Oh, uh, Mr. Beast? It's Mr. Beast a blanket. A blanket? What is it? What is it? <gasps> Mr. Beast blanket. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, look, have, they haven't even like stitched the graphic together properly. It just like cuts back into it three times. Yeah. It just stretched it. Yeah, but do you give this to any two year old who watches YouTube? Oh, they'll be stoked. Mr. The, Beast the blanket. The, it, the graphic constantly cuts over itself. It's not even repeating properly. <laughs> look at it. Look how shit that is. This is more like Mr. Yeast. What do you rate it? Um, comfiness? It feels pretty good. Holy fuck. My cat would love this. Yeah. Here's the thing, right? Here's the thing that, like, frustrates me a little bit. If I was making counterfeit goods, it isn't that... It's not that hard to put a little bit of effort in. No. I feel like I would take pride as a counterfeiter to have the best counterfeit merchandise. Yeah, you... you Are you could... really saving that much money by not just doing a little bit of Photoshop and making sure well, that it's... the f***ing tiger's head connects to itself? This is a full print. Where's the quality standards in China? A Chinese man working on this is like, yep, that's good to go. Don't you believe in anything anymore, China? But we bought it, so... <laughs> what happened to you, China? You used to be cool. Half of my toys were from China and they lasted longer than the COVID did. This is a problem. COVID's the thing that lasted the longest that China's made. I'm just gonna fold this up and take that's it. it. That's a good dog rug. Yeah. Where's the cat? Let's give Bigglesworth a chance to review the product. Bring him here. Bring the cat here. He's just out of surgery. He just had his nuts removed. Come here, mate. He's very sleeping and he's got my balls. What do you think of the Mr. Beast rug? Is it good? Come on, Conehead. Is it good? Lay down on your new Mr. Beast rug. I got it especially for you. You love Mr. Beast. Have a little nap on your Mr. Beast rug, mate. Get us a hundred million views. You ever look at like Chinese stuff and oh, yeah. any of these like fibers, if you breed them in, you might get like cancer or something mm. just from one fiber. Mm -hmm. That's it's, why he's wearing a cone on his head. He just slept on this rug last night. Now he's got nut cancer. Oh, you're such a sleepy boy. Look how dumb you look, bro. You look real It's like an auto food at feeder. Sometimes he lays on his back and I fill it up with um, cat food. Oh, he loves it. He does like it. He loves it. Let's wrap him up. Here. He loves making a little testicle burrito. I'm making a, a Mr. Beast Bigglesworth burrito. Burrito. There you go, mate. Look at that. Look how cozy you are in your Mr. Beast blanket. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, look at you, mister. You look so cozy in your Mr. Beast blanket. Oh, nope. And look, you need to... You've obviously never wrapped a baby in a counterfeit Chinese blanket before. <laughs> Right, here we go. He's really actually mad about his testicles being removed. I would be too. Look at him. He thinks he looks ridiculous. I feel a little ridiculous. Walking down the street with my cat wrapped in my Mr. Beast blanket wearing my 150 size PewDiePie hoodie. <laughs>
That one's pretty good. Just the feeling of it. Okay, yeah, the, the print, everything, ev the print's shit, but the material <laughs> feels cozy. Oh, you all right? No. Except there's some Chinese fibers, but I'm telling you, you gotta go get checked. You're gonna have to go get checked after this video. It's I've already, got, it's hitting you already. I've got bovid. It's progressing. Bovid is nuts. Not that he does. Mm. Do I have to wear this one? Yeah. No, please. You must. I can't. I put this on. My body's starting to itch badly. This shirt says some heroes wear capes, mine wear headphones. Oh my god. And it's Jacksepticeye Markiplier. Some heroes wear capes, mine wear headphones. Let's put it on. <sighs> it's stuck together, look, listen. <laughs> oh, someone's already used it. <laughs> some heroes wear capes, mine wear headphones. Wow, you must be a big fan. I'm their biggest fan. Markiplier eating bananas, my favorite picture on this. And then Jacksepticeye having an anxiety attack was also nice. And then they're just looking at the camera smiling because they're so grateful that they have all these fans watching their videos. This is why we're not successful like them because we don't appreciate the people who watch our videos like they do. So look into the camera like they are. We're not even wearing headphones. We love you. We don't even wear headphones anymore. We love you. Just say it. He loves you. No, no, no. We love you. He loves you. You want to know why you haven't hit 10 million yet? Because you don't appreciate it. I have by the time this video goes up. Here, look. Editor, put it up. See? Josh just hit 10 million! <laughs> Alright, can we continue? Yeah. What's in this one? If you can guess what this is, I'll give you a blowjob. It's a hot dog. What is it? Is it a onesie? If this is another Markiplier item, I'm firing Jess. Okay. It's a big rug. It is a Markiplier item. Oh, make the call. <sighs> Holy shit. God, this one isn't even like feeling nice like the rip-off Markiplier one. This one just- The rip-off Mr. Beast one. Mr. Yeah. Mr. Beast one. When did the pink moustache become a thing for him? Um, a while ago. Why are you looking at me like I'm a I don't know what I don't him. actually- I actually don't know why I said I've it never, like that. Um, a while ago. <laughs> You're like, uh, bro. You're the one that has seven pieces of Markiplier merch right now. I'm making a call. Hello again. You're fired. Why? Because you bought too much Markiplier merch. It's like two things, wasn't it? Nah, it was more than two things. What? These aren't my favorite YouTubers. And what about Josh? He looks <laughs> stupid in his... <laughs> How tired is that? About, about as tight as your new budget because you're fired. <laughs> See you later. Nice save. That was close. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just kidding. A harassment suit. Okay. There. <laughs> <laughs> that could have gone one of two ways. <laughs> <laughs> Almost as tight as your. <laughs> <laughs> We're at the end of another video. What did we learn? Nothing. Uh, why did we spend all this money? No reason. I don't- I actually thought that the- What's the moral of today's video? I thought the outcome of this video was gonna be better, more positive, but I'm just kind of like, maybe we should just film a video where we take money out the bank and burn it, because that's all we're doing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like overall, um, what do you rate it? We feel, we are so upset that we forgot to rate individual items. I mean, like the cl the cold cold ones is the worst one. I, like I'd prefer not to wear some others because I think you'd get beaten up for wearing the Markiplier one or for that wearing that one. I agree. Like you walk into an Australian pub on a Saturday night, you probably get beaten up for wearing that. Um, I'm very I'm sorry. <laughs> Has it gone to the stage uh, where we're apologizing at the end of videos? No, now? you guys have been looking forward to more of these types of videos, and trust me, I've been cooking ideas, and I thought this video was going to be really good, but... It wasn't. Mm -mm. It's a bad video. Yeah. They watched the whole thing. I think moral of the story is, please, do not buy this shit. Don't waste your f***ing money. Unless it's Josh Dub ones. Don't put any dollars in Chinese people's pockets. They have in, enough money. Put it in ours. Go to the boys.store and merch, you'll never be disappointed by merch again. At least the merch you buy at the boys.store is of high quality most times. Mm. I'd say we've, we've, we do miss the mark sometimes. M Mr. Mark, is that what you call him? <laughs> well, this is usually the part of the video where we do like the outdoor stuff, but um, I don't think we should wear this anymore. Oh, my skin is itching. I can feel a rash coming on. For health reasons and because we get beaten up. Yeah. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna take mine off. I might have to use this to take it off. No, don't cut it. Why? Because it's official PewDiePie merch. How the f am I gonna get it off? It's on you forever now.